This episode of Roofing University is brought to you by Primeline Tools. Roofing is fun. Na 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 na. Roofing is fun. Na 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 na. Roofing is fun. So uh, doing some steel roofing today here. Um, just want to give you a couple tips here. You run into a back pan here, kind of as a a dead end. What we're going to do is just take some plywood and also some two by fours and we're going to crimp up a little area. So it doesn't take much. Just put something together like so. I cut these already before I started filming. Well, just an idea of what I'm going to do here. I'm going to kick it right up. Kind of something like that. If you look at that. Boom, boom. We're going to kick that up. That'll be the highest point. And I'm going to send the water right over there. So I'll show you how it looks when it's done. It's pretty simple. I'm gonna walk you through it a little bit as well, so stay tuned Sunday, but a uh, big, big time never rests here at Riffing University. I had to fucking work, work, work all day. All right, we got the plywood on, and next we're gonna put some ice and water, and then the valley. Get that water out of that uh, dead chimney back pan bullshit. All right, so we got our ice and water down here. So, there we go. We've already kind of pre-bent this little piece up. So, we took a valley, cut her in. Made her have a little overhang for the front because we're gonna have to put a flash on that little wood piece that's showing. And uh, yeah, so here it is. down so we got the valley installed right now nailed down we're gonna to want to keep it up a little bit and what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take a shingle and we're gonna put it right like so we're gonna make sure it locks in make sure it's sitting nice now once you get it in there like that if you can see that we're gonna take these folds right here you're gonna take your hammer you're gonna pry that out like so worry about banging up the shingle because you're going to put another one over top. You're going to want to make a cut right here. Boom. Once you get it where you want it, you're going to have to uh, blast that down any which way you want. So now you're going to set your valley. So we're going to set the valley. Boom. Done. Now, now what I've done is cut a little baby piece like this. Now I've bent all these pieces already, so to make it a little quicker, but that's gonna go there. I'm gonna need to drop the camera to show you how that goes in. That's gonna slide right into place like that, interlocking with the other one. And then we nail that one down again. We're getting there, you guys. That valley out, it looks really nice. You see that there? So now we're just gonna start bending shingles. Uh, we're gonna step up this wall and we're gonna uh, finish up this little piece here. Make for uh, the rest of my day, pretty much. It's a little slow go with these steel shingles. You gotta bend each one and each bend is pretty precise, so. But it's worth it what's all done for the nice picture for everybody on YouTube or Facebook, where the heck it is. Okay. So now we're at the first full shingle in the valley. All we are is going to do, all we're going to do is push it flat where it should lay, like that, right where it should. You're just going to mark it, and at the bottom too. Make a half inch fold on that shingle and make it interlock with the valley and up we go. So again, we're going to bend the shingle in. And then we are just going to mark it on the on the edge, and then again on the top. Marks here. I take my two foot bender and I make a straight line right on those marks, just like so. If you can see that, and then I put one further out for the fold. 
another three quarters of an inch. That's my cut line. We got two lines now. Cut on the second line. Don't forget to cut your corner. Don't forget to cut your folds out. Now they got your folds cut out. Take your two foot bender. Put her in, put her on your bend line, and of course, pull down. And the shingle should slide right into place. There you go. And then you can use a piece of wood just to tap it in a little better. Like that. And I'm hand bombing this video today, guys, so it's just BDR style. But this is my roofing university. So I roll. So boom, we're getting there. Valley's looking good. We're just going to start bending up this little cricket here. And yeah, I'll get the water. This is where a leak happened. Boy, you not anymore. I don't think so. Not after I'm done with it. Got the step flashing bent up. Now it's just going to fit into place like so. Oh, I'm going to go right there. I got her bent. You can tuck it around the edge there. Just clip it and set it. Alright, so that kind of finishes off my day. Just finished that, I'm heading home. So stay tuned, we've got some more videos. So uh, until next time, like and subscribe for the university.